Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up Windows Server 2025 AWS EC2 instance. Then we will connect to it. Okay, first connect to AWS console, then click on services in the search box, then search for EC2. Click on EC2 in service. See, at this moment I don't have any EC2 instances running. Now click on launch instance or click on instances then click on launch instances then provide the name then we have to select the AMI image see here we have the windows if you are unable to find click on browse for browse more AMIs click on windows See here, we have Windows Server 2025 Core Base and Base. Select the first one that is Windows Server 2025 Base and it is pre type eligible. Okay. So, next, select the instance type. And instance type I am going with this is just for demo purpose. But for production, you have to select the more the CPUs and memory. Okay. So, Next, click on create key pair. Click on create new key pair. Then select dot pem. Then provide here name and click on create key pair. Then scroll down network settings. I don't have any VPC or other information. So click on edit. And I want to tell you I am creating instance in US EC2 region. Okay. So See, I don't have any VPCs. See here, okay. So, I'm going to create a new VPC. Click on services again here. Type VPC. Right click on VPC. Select open link in new tab. Then go here. See, it is creating VPC in same region. US East one, okay. So, click on create VPC. I'm not going to do anything, just click on create VPC. Now go back, click on this reload button. See, we have the VPC, okay. And subnet also refresh. See, we have subnets. Auto SN public IP, select enable. See, additional charges apply when outside of free tire elements, okay. And create security group. If you have an existing one, select existing one. I have only default one. Okay, I want to create separate one. Then give the name. Then inbound security rules. See RDP is required. So it has automatically selected. So next, if you want to add any inbound group role, we can add later also. Storage, configure storage. See, retire eligible customers can get up to 30 gigabytes of EBS general purpose SSD. Okay, so I'm not going to change. Then additional details. If you want join domain, you can select here. I don't want select DNS hostname, enable resource based IP4. And remaining options, I'm not going to do anything. If you want to add any user data, you can provide here by clicking on this choose file or you can paste here. Okay, I'm okay with the details. See, this is the summary. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on launch instance. Or if you want to modify, go to the options and you can modify. So, I'm okay with the, these options for this demo purpose. So, click on launch instance. Successfully initiated launch of instance. Now go to EC2, then click on instances running, see at this moment there are no, so click on this refresh button, see here we have the one instance running, click on this instance ID, see this is the public DNS name and it will populate the public IP as well, see here we have the public IP, click on this one, public IP address or public IPv4 DNS, then open MSDSC from your PC, 
then paste that IP and click on connect. See, now it is asking username and password. Okay, to get username and password, go to connect. Then click on RDB client. See here, username is administrator. Want to get password, click on get password. Then we have to update the PEM file. So, click on private key file. Then go to downloads. Click on PEM file, click on open. Click on decrypt password. See, this is the password will be not same for you. Click on copy. Then go to here. Username is administrator. Then provide that password. Click on OK. Click on S. See, this is the Windows Server 2025 desktop screen. See, it is look like Windows 11 screen. If you want open server manager, click on server manager. Open folders. See here, on desktop, it populated the information about the this virtual machine. See here, host name, instance ID, private IP address, public IP address. Instance size and all. Okay. If you want add roles, you can click on add roles and features. Same like on premises or Windows Server 2022. If you want to verify the version of this machine, Windows run type win work. See, we are on Windows Server 2025 data center operating system. Okay. And this is easy to see here. You can also get the information. Right click on this PC. Properties. See here. Edition is Windows Server 2025 data center and this is the version number and this is the installation date and this is the OS built information. Okay. And this is the device name. If you want to change the name of this machine, you have to click on rename this PC. Then you have to provide name. Then you have to click on next. After this, it will ask you to reboot. So, I am not going to do see to affect the changes, we have to click on restart now. I don't want so, just I am showing you. Click on restart later. I will do that later. Okay. Let me close this one. If you want to see a list of default installed applications, click on all apps. See, these are all common applications. But we have only this Amazon EC2 launch settings. Click on it. See, here we have the wallpaper. See. See, if you select these options, it will display it here. So, I am selecting OS. Here, it is not showing OS information. If you select here, click on save. It is not showing, but it will show you whenever if you disconnect and connect back. Again, if you want to see, see the settings, don't want display details, you have to unselect this one. You have to click on save. So, to log off, Windows run. Log off. See, before we, we tried with IP, MSTSC, we have given this IP. You can also try with this public DNS name. Paste it, click on connect. Then provide the username administrator. Then give this password. Click on it, paste it, click on OK. Click on S. See, we have successfully connected. Okay. If you want to disconnect, you can close here. We have seen how to connect. But we can also connect by downloading this remote desktop file. Click on it. See, we have successfully downloaded. Click on this RDP file. Click on connect. Then provide the password of admin. Click on copy. Paste it. Click on OK. Click on S. See, these are the th three ways to connect to Windows Server 2025 EC2 instance. Go to instance. If you want to get password again, go to RDP client. You have to click on get password. Again, you have to upload the file. Okay. So, now if you want to stop the EC2 Windows Server EC2 instance, click on stop. 
instance. Otherwise, if you want to restart, click on restart EC2 instance. For not using, it is better to stop. Okay. And if you want to delete the EC2 instance permanently, click on terminate or delete instance. Suppose if you want to delete, click on terminate. Now it is asking confirmation. So you have to click on delete. So in this video, we have seen how to create AWS EC2 instance for Windows Server 2025. For more AWS or Windows Server tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.